Welcome back to the Pink Floyd Collectors YouTube channel. I recently posted a photo of this on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. It's a book that Roger Waters presented the crew and band with at, it, uh, coming towards the end of 2012. It was actually um, on the eve of the Wrigley Field concert in 2012. Uh, this is something he wanted to put together as a thank you for what was then three years worth of touring. So this basically covers the period 20, 2010 to 2012. Of course, the wall would then come back the next year in Europe in 2013. Um, so each one he's signed, love, Roger. And down in the corner, you can see that they're numbered out of 250. So this is number 107. Um, it opens up with um, quite a funny overlook of the tour so far from Roger. I'm not going to repeat it. Some of it's quite sensitive to the tour. Um, but maybe one day I'll scan this or somebody else will who's got a copy. Uh, but he basically, he's just saying thanks to everybody for their hard work. And then it mentions here everybody who received a copy um, of this. So I'm guessing there's 250 names here. And then what it breaks down into then is a pictorial guide of the concert. Um, so you've got some lovely double spread pages here. And these are photos that tend to be done by the band themselves or the crew. So they're not ones you see in the uh, tour programme or any press. And you can also see the evolution of the tour. So how it started in 2010, it, it took on a, a different tone uh, as the years went on, slight differences were made in terms of what the band were wearing. Um, but on each page, it, it, it can break down into uh, 12 photos, like this one here. So as you can see, there's a whole range of different photos, or six different photos on the other side. And as you can see, these are very uh, personal pictures. You've got one here, which I'll kind of hold up a bit. You've got Roger here, scolding a dog. <laughs> so there's some quite humorous bits here. You've got Gerald Scarf here who'd come in to watch one of the shows. Um, so I'll try and put this on the middle and just go through it. And maybe you can pause it yourself. This is actually a great photo. Um, this is taken up from the hanging pig looking down on Wrigley Field. Uh, I was lucky enough to go to this concert um, at the AT&T Park in San Francisco. So you can see the bay at the back there and you would get boats come up. It was actually freezing cold that night. And you can see the plane here waiting to be launched at the stage. Oh, I was down here somewhere that night. Uh, but yeah, it was quite quite cold uh, considering the time of year. I think it was like around July from memory. Um, again, a nice double page picture there. The uh, show starting. And various crew and band in the almost what you describe as military equipment, safety vests uh, with the hammers. And you've got here the plane crashing into the stage. Again, quite a nice angle, not one you normally see. But Roger springing into action. And the wall with the many faces on, the, the victims' faces. Got a nice one here of Roger behind the wall. And you can see here sound techs preparing him. Obviously anybody who saw the show will know that they build a wall and you didn't get to see the band, much of them anyway, for the second half. They were just playing their instruments. Roger would appear on, on top of the wall in cutouts in the wall. Uh, but you can see here another brick leading up to that. And again, more of these 12 pictures per page multiple things some of these are actually fans they're like bits that they gave them but they were just interested harry here um some quite humorous ones and also i can see that they've taken a photo of the press bits that are in there i think i've actually got this one this uh, i think it was from uh south america in Spanish, a funny one here of Roger pointing to the sign. It says, notice weapons of any kind are prohibited. So that's always good to note. And back to a nice double page spread with the kids on stage. Some nice fan shots that the band have taken as well. 
there's a great photo of Puppet Master and another one here of Roger. So as you can see, some are very professionally taken photos, some are just literally people you won't recognise, they're just crew members. And it's, it's all kind of telling a story. Um, this would have been 2010, this one. And it kind of develops into 2011, 2012. This is actually uh, Roger's um, son and daughter, Harry and India. <laughs> yeah. Kind of need some explanation, I guess. Again, a lovely double spread. This is a great one of Pink up here. He's actually holding a gun to his head. Lovely one there of Mother. The inflatable. <laughs> this guy's sleeping behind the wall. And I believe this is when Roger went fishing in Iceland. Um, so he's holding a fish. He's quite a keen fisherman. I will fucking kill you. And you can see the downed pig here being mauled by the fans. We're trying to grab a piece of bacon. Nice double spread there. The masks that were handed out at the Greek shows. Some homemade ones that people have brought to the show. Again, more of these multiple photos. Of course, you can pause these in the, in the video if you want to actually look at some of these in detail. Get a nice shot from the back of the stadium. Phoenix of Bond Street, so, so Roger's manager, Mark, uh, owns the uh, Phoenix stores. Uh, Roger's wife at the time then, Harry, sitting on the stage. There's John Carrin. Again, some of the guys backstage. I mean, for them, they were kind of spending a lot of time with each other for three years, but will go on to be four years touring the world. You can imagine. If, if you have to feel like a family or you just don't get on. Nice one here looking out. So obviously the crowd out here behind the wall. Again, Roger. Looking through the hole in the wall. Some kids here dressed up. So the complete wall. And this would probably be underneath the wall. So you've only got snowy hair. And Roger. Some of the trucking, uh, there's some of the huge trucks that it took to put the show on, especially the outside version. This was quite a huge effort. This is Harry with his twins, twin boys. A nice one here with the uh, drum head, the screaming face drum head. Roger Waters loadout beers. And you can see here some of the computer generated stuff, some fan made pigs. Roger breaking down the wall. It was uncomfortably numb, memory. And Dave Kilminster above the wall on top. So the merchandise stand. Nice one there with the boys singing. Just 
Jay Smith down the bottom there. More, more guns. Yeah, nice one there of the pig above the complete wall. Great photo there, Roger. There's more dictator all well. And another one there, run like hell with the pig. In Amsterdam, recognizable. Yeah, some of these double page spreads are lovely. And <laughs> a great one there, just pink. Take it all in. The Temple Bar, so that's obviously in Dublin. Yeah, oh, there's a great one here, Roger just sat looking out. Yeah, so a lot of the uh, crew sometimes at play, and obviously we're in the show taking things serious, that's when they get paid. And then coming out to outside the wall, and then it just thanks the various photographers, some of who I can see are band members, so uh, Robbie Wyckoff, John Joyce, Andrew Schweck, the tour manager, Sean Evans, uh, the guy who put, put on a lot of the show. And then he finishes the book uh, by this uh, statement here. I was there, I felt something, and perhaps I was not alone. That's from his friend, Etienne Rodegill. So that's it. Uh, hopefully that gives a bit more of a deep dive into this book. Um, obviously they don't come up for sale, these things. There was only 250 of them anyway. And I think most people who got them probably want to keep them. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed that.